The law when it comes to a minor being involved in an accidental shooting. Who is held accountable and can minors legally own a gun? Questions we're answering tonight after a grandfather was arrested in connection with the accidental shooting death of a 13 year old boy. I have nothing to say. Do you feel like you're wrongly accused I don't right even, now? I don't even know nothing what's going on. Investigators say the man gifted a gun to his 14 year old grandson, but that's not a crime. Shaking his head as in disbelief, Robert Lee Voigt walked out in handcuffs earlier this week after he was charged with making a firearm accessible to a child involving serious bodily injury or death, a misdemeanor. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar said he bought an AR-15 style rifle for his 14-year-old grandson as a gift, but that wasn't the crime. That's not the problem in and of itself. I think that's, a, that's kind of a neat uh, uh, rite of passage in, in many families here in South Texas. It's, it's leaving it unattended and leaving it in a spot where that young man could get it and it was accessible to him at any given time. His 14-year-old grandson charged with manslaughter. The sheriff says he took the weapon to clean it. He was with a 13-year-old boy unsupervised when the gun went off. The 13-year-old was hit in the head and killed instantly. Investigators believe the 14-year-old was holding the gun. So what does the law say when it comes to minors and guns? The federal law says you must be at least 18 years old to buy a long gun and at least 21 years old to buy a handgun from a licensed dealer. But the federal law is different when it comes to unlicensed dealers. Someone under the age of 18 couldn't walk into Academy and buy an AR-15, but they could go to a gun show and buy one, or their grandfather could give them one, because those are private sales private transfers. Local criminal defense lawyer Don Flannery says Texas law holds adults criminally liable for guns that aren't secured. If a child gains access to a readily dischargeable firearm and the person with criminal negligence fails to secure the firearm. So if I leave a gun out, even if I don't give it to my grandson, if I leave it out and the kids play with it, that's a crime. He says the person can be charged with a misdemeanor. And when it comes to the minor involved in the recent accidental shooting death. So if I point a gun at you and I'm just playing around and I accidentally shoot you, it's not murder. I didn't mean to kill you, but I was so reckless that I shouldn't have done that. And it, I caused your death. It's OK to have guns in your home, um, but just make sure that you're doing so safely. And I think that this is a perfect example of what not to do with a gun. University Health System says it's partnering with Judge Nelson Wolf and Bear County, the Bear County Sheriff's Office, a group called Be Smart, and other San Antonio partners to launch a gun lock distribution and Be Smart education program. For more information, visit ksat.com slash news at 9.